If you're a financially independent person out there who spends, you know, has monthly budgets and stuff like that, you should be able to make several hundred dollars or probably more than a thousand a year just ripping off credit card company. Actually, I don't, I don't want to say it's ripping off. Technically, it's just a, applying the terms of service in a tactical way. Um, I've done this for a couple years. It's an easy way to make huge amounts of money back. Uh, it, I, everyone should do it. So. Everyone knows that you can get cash back on credit cards, but that's like small fry stuff. That's, that's oh, little, oh, 5% cash back, that's so great. No, 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 that, that's newbie stuff. Let me, let me tell you what I do, okay? You take credit cards, you take out credit cards, use them, pump and dump them for their introductory offers, and then cancel them or disable them, okay? That, that's the gist of it. So here, let me give you an example. Here is a card. This is a Wells Fargo CashWise Visa. Uh, I'm showing you it because it doesn't have my number on the front, but let me tell you the story of this card. I got this card around a year ago when I moved to where I am now. I got it because it has this nice little introductory offer and it says if you spend $500 in the first three months of having this card, you get a credit on this card of $200. That is $200 free. Okay, so when I was moving here, I knew, okay, I'm gonna have to rent a U-Haul, I'm gonna have to rent a little trailer to, to attach my car to the U-Haul and bring all my stuff down there, and uh, I'm gonna have to pay for gas, That you know, all of that together is probably gonna be around 500 bucks, even if it's a little less, I'm gonna use 500 bucks within the next three months, okay? So I got this card, I paid for the U-Haul and the gas, I right up to $500, I got my 200 free dollars and I used it on whatever I want. I went on a big shopping spree got, got, getting all the stuff I needed for a new house. And then what did I do? I threw this card away. I'm never going to use it again. Uh, I, I, I don't know what its terms are. I don't care. I don't care about APR. You've got to be dumb if you actually use APR. Everyone should just pay off their all of their credit card balance all the time. Um, so that card I'm never going to use again. In fact, it's deactivated even if you stole it, even if you saw the number. Uh, you know, you, you can't even use it, okay? So, uh, that is what I do. And you know what I did after this card? You know, here's the thing. that What they want you to do when you get a nice introductory offer is, wow, this card gave me 200 free dollars. I love this card. I'm going to use it forever. No, 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 no. Pump and dump. Get rid of the card and get a new card that gives you the same kind of offer. And there are dozens of these, okay? So that's what I've done. I use one card. Once I've gotten the introductory offer from it, I go to the next one. Here's the card I have right now. It's a Bank of America card. It is, uh, I want to say, you spend $1,000 within the first three months, uh, then you get a, a credit of $250, uh, or credit or maybe points that's like 25000 or something like that. That's 250 bucks. okay? So $1,000 over three months, that's just about my monthly expenses. I mean, I, you know, I have close to $200 in fixed expenses and bills every month. Uh, so that's 600 bucks for three months, and then the other $400, I'm probably going to spend that, that on groceries and gas and stuff like that, other things that may emerge. Um, so I am not, I'm not buying more stuff with this, of course. You, you know, they want you to buy more. They want you to go into debt. But I'm just using this for my daily expenses. The only difference is at the very end of this three months, I'm going to get 250 free bucks. Or even if you, you, know, you want to make a big investment, you want to get it, you know, solar panels or a... I don't know, fix your computer or get a new computer or something like that. Um, taking out one of these cards for a car, something you already are planning to do is a good idea because you're just going to get free money back. And when I'm done with this card, guess what I'm going to do? Never going to see it again. I'm going to put it in my safe of old disabled cards. That's going to be it. Okay. Uh, and I actually have a list on my computer of the next cards that I'm going to exploit in the order I'm going to exploit them. So uh, as far as I'm concerned, think about, think about the savings you make on this, okay? If you spend a thousand bucks, you spend a thousand bucks and you get 250 of that back, that is basically like for the, you know, and again, if that's my expenses over three months, that's basically like having a 25% off coupon on literally everything you buy. Or if you don't want to think of it that way, that's like, you know, over a year when you use a couple of these cards to do that, um, you know, that's like getting a free vacation or an extra paycheck or two or, or you know, it, it depends on your, your situation, but it's free money. What are you going to do? Like, say no to it? It's no more difficult, uh, you know, just setting up the... I mean, you just have to use this card instead of another one, okay? And just sort of mentally remember how much you have left, okay? Now, are there any downsides to this? 
Um, basically, no. Uh, if you look it up, there's a, this is called, there's a word for it, it's called credit card churning, I think. If you look it up, there are a bunch of shill sites that are trying to scare you away from doing it because it's, you know, terrible for banks. Uh, but the reality is, if you are a person with basic cognitive abilities, that is a person who immediately pays off all credit card debt and never, no, never, go, never spends more than they have. I, I don't know why anyone would do that on credit cards, but a lot of people do. I'm just pretending those people aren't listening to this video uh, because they, should, they shouldn't even be, they should be living with their parents, frankly, if you do that. Um, but anyway, uh, if you are someone who actually pays off your debt, this, there basically is no downside. There is a short term, uh, an apparent downside, and that is in any case, uh, if you open credit cards, if you um, apply for credit, you are going to have an inquiry on your account, which means your credit score might decrease by a little bit, or if you've, you've opened multiple cards recently, it might my score decreased by like a dozen or so points when I first started doing this. Uh, but after that level, it actually only goes up. And the reason is if you have, let's say you do what I, I'm telling you to do, and over the next two years, you open like, I don't know, well, maybe a couple years, maybe you open like 10 cards or something like that, okay? And you, you exploit them all, all, you get a couple hundred bucks per card. Um, it actually looks really good on your credit score if you have a couple thousand dollars, maybe a hundred thousand dollars open in credit that you have never used or gone into debt with. You've always paid off whatever you, um, you know, you have. That actually looks really good on your credit score. Um, so if, you, if you're applying for a mortgage next month, it might not be a good idea to open a credit card, um, even if you're just going to get free money from it. Uh, but for people who are more long game, guys, you guys who are younger or don't necessarily plan on like get it, making a, a big uh, purchase uh, that you need some kind of credit score for, um, yeah, there's literally no downside. So long as you're like not dumb enough to uh, overspend on your credit card. Uh, that's where they want to get you. Don't let them get you there. Uh, but for anyone else, again, I do not, I never alter my behavior for this credit card. The fact that I get free money for this, I never think, I never let myself think about it. Uh, sometimes I'll bring it up in conversation as a joke, but uh, um, you know, I, all that I'm concerned with is just using my typical amount of money and then I'll just get, I'll happen to get a couple free hundred dollars in my account once that time is up and I will go on to another card and that's going to be it. Uh, so yeah, that is my recommendation. Again, it's like getting 25% off literally everything you buy, free vacation. It, it's actually uh, pretty nice. The only reason I would not want to do this, and this is not a reason that a normie would not want to do this, but the only reason I wouldn't want to do this is just because credit cards, of course, are monitoring devices, but then again, so are debit cards, right? I mean, if you're one of those guys who's like, I want to use cash because I don't want the government to mon monitor me or credit card companies that monitor you, that's an okay reason not to do this, right? But if you're already using debit cards, there's no reason you can't do this. Um, um, and it's, in fact, even if, if you're con concerned about your privacy, uh, I would sort of do the thing where, oh, I'll just buy credit in some account. Let's say you, um, you, have, you have the same power company, okay, that you're going to pay a bill for, you know, for however many years. You might as well just spend, you know, the 500 bucks from this on that. Uh, that, of course, you know, the system is going to know you're going to be buying anyway, so it's not really sacrificing your, it's not exposing your daily purchases to whatever, uh, to these companies. So yeah, uh, check it out. If you, do, if the people watching this video do this, I don't know, if the people on my channel do this, literally all of you can make several hundred bucks in the first year, if, so long as you are, you know, you actually spend this amount of money, which I think most independent uh, people usually tend to. Um, so I don't know, we could all collectively just bankrupt, uh, you know, a, a credit card company or two. I will say that some of them like try and be smart about this, like let's say Wells Fargo. So Wells Fargo, of course, once I open this card, uh, there's a rule at Wells Fargo. They say, oh, you can't get an introductory offer for another 15 months. Or there are some companies like Chase where they're like, oh, if you've opened five cards in the past two years, uh, you can't open a card here. Because they know that people are going to exploit the system. But it's very easy when you're opening cards at different banks and you're, you know, you're getting one from some... Like, they, they can't really regulate it between them. That's the best part. Uh, so, yeah, literally just free money. Oh, and if you have a wife, hey, get her in on the gig. You can double your money. All right, you can milk every card twice. All right, so that's about it. That's your, uh, thanks Biz for watching.